Yo, this is Plasma, bringing you another tutorial for Ableton Live. And today I want to show you a program I've bought that creates macros that are really useful to speed up the workflow in Ableton Live. So when I want to insert plugins or effects in Ableton, I can uh, go on Audio Effects and then look for the plugin I want and insert it on the track. And another way is uh, to press Command F and then type in, for example, EQ8. And then we can insert it from here. But to be honest, for me, it takes way too long. And especially for plugins I use all the time, uh, I thought there has to be a way of speeding this up. And I looked online and found this uh, program called Keyboard Maestro that can do multiple actions with a single keystroke. So let me show you how I've done it. This is the program. Uh, first of all, we have to make a new macro group down here. And then we can give it a name right here. And now we can set the available application to Ableton. Right here we can create a new macro inside this group. Click on plus. Let's name it F1 EQ8. On new trigger we can set F1 to be the trigger for the action. We now want the program to press command F for searching inside Ableton. So we click on new action and we can now see all the available actions in this list. Search for key and insert the keystroke action. Set it to command plus F. Okay, now uh, the search box in Ableton would be ready to put text in. And now we have to tell Keyboard Maestro that he types in a text like EQ8. So we add the action insert text by typing. In this box we type EQ8. Now we need a pause or delay action because Ableton needs some time after we typed in the text. The next action will be enter keystroke that will confirm the text inside the search box in Ableton. The last thing is another enter keystroke, which inserts the effect on the track. Okay, so now everything should be set up. Uh, let's try it in Ableton. Okay, um, I press F1. And there we go. F1 inserts the EQ8. Of course, we can do the same with everything that can be found in Ableton Search. So let's do it again with the Ableton Compressor. I just copied the first macro holding the ALT key and I changed the name and the trigger to F2 and I type in the text COMPRESSOR. And voila, also works for COMPRESSOR. Okay, so here you can see all macros I made for Ableton with the effects I use the most. Here we have the EQ, the compressor, the utility, the drum rack, and the new drum bus, and a reverb. Also, I have record on the plus button. Okay, so that's it. Uh, I hope you learned something, and thanks for watching. See you next time. Peace.